All right, what's going on? So here it is. This is the 3D printed alto saxophone mouthpiece called the Resonator 7. It plays more like a six, but it sounds pretty good. I played this mouthpiece versus my Autolink Psi 7 Tone Edge mouthpiece last night. And I, I'll be honest with you, I had a little bit of trouble playing this new one with a size two and a half reed. So I backed it down to a size two reed and then it played beautifully. So I'm gonna demonstrate this mouthpiece versus my auto link and you'll hear the difference on the two. This one, although it claims to be a size seven mouthpiece, it plays more like a six. And I did, it is a little more restrained than my auto link and you're gonna be, you're gonna hear that in the sound, especially when I play the higher notes. All right, so a little side note. Um, this mouthpiece plays a little flat, so I have it really nudged onto the neck. So when you play it, make sure that you have a tuner or you have a piano or something nearby where you can actually tune this thing to make sure that you're playing it in tune. There's something with the design. Um, could be the material, could be whatever, but just make sure you're playing this, uh, you tune this up before you play it with a group or, you know, you want to make sure you're playing in tune anyway. <laughs> uh, all right, so this, here is the sound of the 3D printed Resonator 7 Alto, Alto Sax mouthpiece. Resonator 7 meets Autolink 7. Here we go. Autolink, size 2, read. Did you hear the difference? I can definitely hear the difference, but I'm very impressed with this 3D printed Alto Sax mouthpiece because it costs almost nothing to print and very little work to actually get it to sound good. I had to do a minor filing on this ridge up here. And as you can see, I do have a two, I put a, a really cheap uh, teeth guard, right? Because I, I always play with a uh, teeth guard, um, makes it more comfortable. Uh, size two read, BG ligature, which this is the ligature I always play with. Uh, this, so those were added on, but for a mouthpiece that costs practically nothing to print, it plays pretty well. And uh, it's growing on me. Each time I blow into it, it really is growing on me. My next objective though, is to print a size eight. Uh, and it's not going to be from this company, resin, whatever this is. It's going to be a different design. This was free. Um, I'm looking into upgrading into bigger mouthpieces because I play generally, normally, I play a size 8 auto link. Uh, and th there are designs on these 3D websites, but I have to pay for them. And these designs, they're only $10, $15 to download. So I'm going to be experimenting with a couple, uh, a couple of those downloads printing them out and then trying them out. But I am very impressed by this mouthpiece, the Resonator 7. Uh, it may or may not work for you. Again, I put my two and a half read on here and it played like garbage. It was awful. I wanted to throw it out the window, but put my size two, my BG ligature on it, and it plays beautifully. A little bit out of tune, uh, but I fixed that by pushing it way down on the neck and adjusting using my mouth to adjust the tone. And uh, yeah, I like it. I can't wait to print out some more of these and uh, I'll be back to provide you with additional demonstrations on printed saxophone mouthpieces. I'm really excited to also print out tenor sax mouthpieces and try those on my Yanagasawa tenor. All right. Thanks. Talk soon.